Kenyan police have freed a veteran journalist after mistakenly arresting him at a police station and dramatically pushing him into a private vehicle. Makariagtho, 65, said he was trailed near his home in the capital, Nairobi, by people in two cars, who refused to identify themselves. He was with his 19-year-old son, who drove with him to a nearby police station for his safety, where he was violently shoved into a car and driven away. Police later said it was a case of mistaken identity and that they had been hunting another person who they accuse of discrediting police investigations into a suspected serial killer. They said in a statement. The police would like to clarify to the public that this morning, we arrested journalist Makariagtho in a case of mistaken identity, meant for the arrest of Francis Kthou who is our subject of investigation. The two are not related. A video shared widely on social media shows the journalist being roughed up and forced into a white car by uniformed officers and others in civilian clothes. It triggered a furious response from Kenyans online, following a wave of accusations that security officers had illegally abducted people seen to be linked to recent anti-government protests. Mr. Kthou told journalists that in the car, he was sandwiched between two men in civilian clothes. He said the men had demanded to know why he was resisting arrest. They later stopped and after some phone calls, drove him back to the Karen police station where he had been arrested. The veteran journalist has disputed the police statement, saying it is me they were looking for, noting there was a big difference between him and the other Ms. Degtho. He said he believes the attempted abduction was related to his work as a journalist. In their statement, the police said the incident was highly regrettable and insisted that we do not target journalists in any way. The veteran journalist is a long-running columnist with Kenya's biggest newspaper, The Daily Nation, and often writes hard-hitting articles that criticize the government. He has said he is going to sue the police over the incident. On Wednesday, Mr. Kthou said he would not be cowed by the attempts to intimidate him. So we came to current police station to look for help. We drove right into the station, but those two cars followed us right inside and forced me into their car, a white pro box. I was sandwiched between two men in civilian clothes. I was handcuffed and I was assaulted. They were demanding to know why I was resisting arrest. And I told them I was not resisting arrest, I was resisting criminals. I don't know who you are. You have not identified your, yourselves. And up to now, as far as I am concerned, you are criminals. They drove me down uh, Langata Road, up to near, I think around the turning of uh, Langata South Road, where they stopped, they made a few calls. I don't know to who, but they were, I gather they were talking to their superior. I could hear the muttering words about Alpha, Bravo, Sierra. I don't know what, the, what those mean. But I had the mention DIC headquarters.